I guarantee today is going to change your perspective on lighting in general. I'm going to give you guys a crash course introduction to lighting. I'm going to give you guys the tools necessary to light your YouTube sets, to light your photo scenes, and to light your video sets in a couple short minutes. It's going to change your life. It's going to change your work. Now, the way I'm going to do that's a bit unorthodox. I'm going to use some things that I have here at home that I think you guys should have around your house minus one thing. Everything else is accessible. And whatever I have here is something that you can recreate at home just to understand light better. The first thing I have is a flashlight. A flashlight's gonna be our primary source of light today. I'm gonna to show you guys all about lighting using one of these guys. I guarantee if you guys don't have one of these at home, you probably have an iPhone or mobile device that has a flashlight built in. The concepts are still the same. Second thing I'm gonna grab is a plastic bag. We'll talk about this momentarily, but ultimately what you want is a clear plastic bag uh, that's opaque, something that you can see through without a ton of color. The more color you have, it'll affect your scene. We'll talk about that shortly. The third is a cutting board. A cutting board is gonna help us understand light even better. If you guys have a white cutting board sitting at home, this is what you wanna use. Now I guarantee you probably don't have this lying around at home, but a mannequin head. A mannequin head and a stand is gonna help you understand light better because it's gonna allow you to understand the patterns of light and where light's moving around. For today, I'm gonna show you guys how to repurpose this. I purchased this for about $30 online. These are things that you guys can invest in. I'll try to find the link and give it to you guys in the comment section below. So look out for that and let's jump into it. This is my light source and I'm going to show you guys how all light in the universe works using this. It all follows the same principle. If I take my light source and I bring it on this background and I turn that on, the closer I am to my light source, the more intense that light's going to be. And as it moves away from my light source, I have less and less light. Now, it doesn't matter what direction this light needs to be, it always follows the same rule. If I move this ahead, it still follows the same principle. The light is still most intense, closest towards that light. Now, that's still true even if I bring my light source directly towards that camera and bring it here. What that means is I have less light on the background and I have more light as I move closer to my light. So if you look at my hand, as I move closer and closer and closer and closer and closer, I have more and more intensity on my hand. I have much more light. Now, the next thing I want you guys to realize is as I have my hand close to that background, I have a well-defined shadow on that background. You can see my shadow and you can see that clearly. As I move closer and closer and closer, my shadow is less and less defined because the larger my light source is compared to my subject, the softer that's going to be. I have less defined shadows on that background. This is where my plastic bag comes in. I'm going to show you guys how to use this to further soften that light or create softer shadows. Take this, make sure there's a ton of air and tie that and from there i can see take this light source bring it through that light source now let's look at what happens if i move my hand there my shadow is a lot softer all light works the same if i increase the size of my light source i could effectively create a softer light now my light is physically going through uh, material so it has to disperse through that light and hit that background so therefore it's softening that light source so therefore this material is acting as diffusion material. It's diffusing my light source and it's not as harsh. So we're going to use this guy. This is a cutting board. We're using the cutting board to reflect light. So I'm going to use this flashlight, use this cutting board, and use this cutting board to reflect light back at that background. So it's facing directly towards that background. And if I put my hand there, let's go ahead and not block that light. As you can see, my shadow is more defined than it was before, but less defined than when we just use the flashlight directly at that background. So I'm even further softening my light source by increasing the size of the light by using the cutting board. Okay, I get it. How does this apply to people? I'm gonna show you guys how that happens with a mannequin head. I'm gonna use all the same principles we just talked about and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that worked. So we have our lovely model here, which is gonna give us the ability to understand light better. I'm gonna use my light source directly at my model and just illuminate her. Now, if you can see, not only is the background, can I see a defined line on the background, but also if you start looking at some of these edges, there's a really defined shadow on her right side, our left side, just under her nose, the same thing, and just under her eyes. As I move this light source around, you can see how well-defined their shadows really are. So we're gonna bring that plastic bag in, and I'm gonna take that plastic bag, bring our light source, and light our subject. Now, as I move that around, you can see it's a much softer form of light. I don't have a direct light source, it's a lot softer than it was before, and I don't have a well-defined shadow on that background. The next thing we're gonna use is our cutting board. Our cutting board is gonna go ahead and reflect light. So I'm gonna use this, bounce this at our cutting board, it's gonna hit our subject, and we're gonna see what that light source is doing. So let's do that. Turn on, bounce off. Now, I have a much more directional light source. It's 
has a much more defined shadow than what we used before. You can see that on the background, you can see that on the subject. I can still see those shadows, but it's a lot softer than using this light source directly at our subject. Next thing we're gonna talk about is feathering the light. When we talk about feathering the light, we're using, if I look at the background, we're using those edges of the light to light our subject. So if I use that light and I directly point it at our subject, there's a lot of intensity here. So I'm gonna move that over this way and just keep her towards the edges of the light, which is gonna go ahead and further soften that light source. So if you notice, I have less defined shadows than I had before, whereas if I move it this way, we have much more harsh shadows. I'm using that feather to soften the light source as well. The last thing that we need to talk about is color. Light has color. Daylight is different than, let's say, tungsten light or daylight balanced light bulbs. Every single light source that you're gonna be introduced to has a different color. So ultimately what you wanna do is isolate the color that you wanna photograph. So as an example, in this set, we have mixed light sources. And what we've done is reduce or eliminate all the different light temperatures that we have that we don't wanna photograph. So look at all the different light sources that we have in a set, just like this. So why does this matter? Well, our flashlight is our strobe. It's our constant light, it's the sun, it's every light source that we use on set. And then we use a plastic bag, which is our diffusion material or our soft box. It's gonna go ahead and further soften that light source. And our cutting board is a reflector or a white building that we can use to reflect light sources back at our subject to further soften that light source. And color is something that we should always know when we're working on set or on site or outside or wherever you are. This short video was super simple. We learned light. That will change your perspective on all light that you should see in the world. Ultimately, I want you guys to have a different perspective, a different set of eyes for how you see and understand light. So you should be applying those same techniques in your photography, in your videography, or your YouTube videos. If you guys found this video impactful, please share it with your friends. And if you have any questions whatsoever, I answer every single one of those in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have an incredible day.